okay good of uh, good afternoon everyone uh, we will going to start a very interesting lecture for today as many people requesting me okay uh, for uh, to creating a video over um, the elastian bitrate temperature calculation over the landsat 5 or etm plus okay so how we are going to uh, do it over that because most of the video which i showed that is over the landsat 8 okay but if you have old landsat data okay so then how we'll going to calculate the lst and uh, after that how we're going to uh, apply the ndvi uh, how we'll calculate the ndvi over that and how we'll make our relationships with that uh, ndvi with uh, uh, that particular lst okay so if you want to do that okay so uh, that is our idea to show you here okay so how we're going to do that okay so before uh, going to start that uh, means um, uh, i'm just telling you i'm not going to calculate the full ndvi because the pixel based ndvi if i'm going to calculate so it will take more time so what is our main uh, objective is to show you from where the metadata you can found all this formula okay so means uh, what the values is required so that i'm giving in my description so please check in my descriptions how for the landsat 8 or sorry landsat uh, tm5 uh, c tm4 5 6 and etm plus uh, what are the different different brightness temperature how we're going to calculate okay so that i'm giving a descriptions so using the same formula you can apply it over our uh, raster calculator in arcgis pro you can calculate whatever you want uh, you can calculate and you can uh, do the elastic calculations and furthermore you can want you can go for it okay so here you see this is a part of our bangalore uh, city okay so means uh, the that landsat tm etm plus okay so you just see here le okay so that i have here okay so first i just uh, zooming in in the ground root area whatever i have the ground root so i'm just going to open that much area so as of now i'm just switching off that so this is a uh, you can see this is the what, what one of the image i have so that is uh, etm plus okay so uh, uh, landsat etm plus so band 6 we are actually taking considerations for uh, this particular analysis okay so if you know that uh, EDM, band, EDM band, band 6 is basically giving you the thermal band okay so which where you can going to calculate all the surface temperature and all the things okay so uh, now first tips we you actually have to calculate that is uh, see the formula I'm just telling you I'm just giving it all this formula to uh, in, in our uh, description box okay so you just see the radiance calculations okay so this is the formula which you have to type okay and this all values you will get from the metadata okay so you just check in my old uh, lst video on, over the landsat 8 so there i, I just is, is explained from where you, in the metadata you will get all these values okay so the formula you just need to apply it for radiance is this so i just make it in a very short so that you can directly apply this uh, calculations for your work okay so and this this is the uh, inverse Planck's law calculations for the brightness temperature okay so that you can apply it for the landsat uh, 5 uh, 6 conversion formula is giving it here okay so this is the formula for the landsat tm5 this is for landsat 7 okay conversion formula okay and uh, here which we are going to use that is the etm plus okay and uh, this will be the formula for the etm plus okay so how we'll see here what you have to change it for the brightness temperature is the constant value okay so this constant value uh, for uh, etm plus four and five i given in you know, a one side one place okay so that it will be easier for you to come to make and conversions okay now the question is how we're going to apply this over that particular area so i will not taking consideration of this particular big area so then it will be take more time so arcgis pro we have a very 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 easy process to do any kind of subsetting process okay so you just see here very easily we can subset it so i can simply go over uh, here in the process i'm simply clipping that particular area so what whatever the area i just want i just clipping it to it okay so same same thing we can apply it for this image also that is the multispectral image okay so this is be required for your ndvi calculations okay so you can go in the same process and you simply uh, clip it down and you just see here so this is also going to clip so now this is to the final image which we will going to uh, use for our purpose and rest we will going to remove from our window so this i removed and i also remove this one 
so now very first work which we will going to do that is over this one this is our radiant uh, clip image okay so now the question is how we'll going to implement this formula so this is the formula okay so i'm just simply copy this formula for the radiance suppose okay so these values also you can get under the metadata but as of now i having it this okay so that's why i'm just going to simply running over that okay so just you can go here suppose okay and uh, under the toolbox okay we have uh, this tool uh, okay so under the special analysis tool you see under the special analysis you have uh, this is called map algebra so I, I have never showed you before how to use this map algebra okay uh, before in, in, in any of my lecture so now I'm going to show you that okay so that is our main focus okay my main focus is not only that showing you of the uh, LSTTM 4 5 6 and ATM 7 so no matter you are using what kind of satellites okay so you should know what should be the constant value and what should the formula and any formula you can run over this okay so that's I'm, that is my main focus how we're going to calculate it okay it is not maybe we'll found i am just taking a radiance value directly from this okay but uh, it is our just main focus is to teach you how to calculate this type of band calculations okay so if you just see here raster calculator if i just use okay so here i have two one okay so this is one first one this is multispectral one okay so for this particular formula i'm just going to paste that particular whatever i have so i'm just simply paste it so next important thing is this is you have to replace okay so you have to calculate the radiance okay so i'm just simply remove it and i will double click over these particular things so this is my so just double click on this again okay and you just sorry sorry very sorry uh, i'm just removing it again so that uh, we can go for it so you just see here i will just put the formula here, here again and i need to calculate means calculate means i need to give that here i have to need the dn value of this particular image so this you have to uh, this is your image so this is the now it is right okay so you just see here but thing is there is a two inverted comma so you just remove one and you can remove it from the here also one okay so now the formula will be fine okay you just see here this will be fine now okay so i hope it will be fine hmm, yes the formula will be fine now so now i if i want to calculate it so i'm just simply click on the run so wherever you want to save you can give a name suppose i'm giving a name as a, a radiance already right this is a 1999 image okay so the radiance 1999 image so i'm just calculating it i will simply click on run okay so see here now it will take few minutes time for the run and you will get the value between 6 to 13 so that is a in general you can get uh, the radiance value if you see this is this is a top layer this is a top layer only okay this is a top layer of the radiance so if you click on this you the check the value so your value should come in 8 to uh, 9 to 8 to 14 in between of 8 to 14 that how radiance value is actually coming okay now the next steps is uh, if you want to calculate the brightness temperature over it okay so then how will do that so simple thing uh, you just need to go back to the raster calculator again okay and in this case now you see uh, no matter you can take any of the formula okay but here i am using this um, etm plus brand okay so you can go for with this formula okay so this is one steps uh, i will give it in a description box so you can use other formula for the other satellites okay so now i'm just going to simply paste it okay and here you just see the radiance 99 it was i'm just going to change why because this one i need to give input okay so let's double click on this uh, i don't think it will take in so again i'm just removing it okay and this is the objective and here yeah now it's came okay so you just remove one more inverted comma inside that okay so now it will be fine so you just see once uh, it will be fine then this upper one there is a cross arrow is coming so that means it's all, it was wrong earlier so that is also removed 
the next important thing is you can give a name here like uh, suppose i am giving uh, lst i am giving but it is actually a brightness temperature lst uh, suppose 1999 okay so that's i'm just giving it to you so here if you just uh, run this so you will see you will find the brightness temperature over there so in some some case of particular range okay so from uh, 250 to 70 it is a summer time image okay so obviously so it will be you are getting a very high temperature in near to that particular area it's a bangalore city okay so that is uh, uh, how the values are coming nearby okay so that is the a way of how we are actually going to uh, apply it so if you want to uh, calculate it uh, like uh, means uh, sorry not calculate you can give uh, some kind of range over this so then uh, it will be something looking like that okay so it's a 1999 was that time growth was not like that okay so anyway i just uh, 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 means you, you you can use it uh, or you can uh, go back to this also so i'm just taking it this because now i just want to overlay these points otherwise i make it clearer then it will be difficult to understand okay anyway now this is the main point here like uh, this is uh, my ground roots okay so you just see from where the locations i collected some ground roots actually i collected the um, uh, you can say the using the uh, infrared gun i take in the ground temperature also which i just um, try to correlate with that but the main thing is i want to show you here how the correlations between the ndvi and the lst suppose you want to see okay so then uh, in this case you can use that multi-purpose tool that we we, sh uh, we already showed you uh, extract multi-value tools which we showed you in the last lecture so the same tool you can use it here also to showing this particular correlation so okay so how this tool will going to extract these two value okay but before uh, this value means one is this lst another you want is as ndvi so ndvi is very easily you can calculate in arcgis pro so that's the beauty in arcgis pro you know like if you click on this and if you go in this raster layer okay and uh oh, oh, not only raster layer so there's a imagery okay so here also it will go and work in automations like uh, if you click on this and click on this ndvi okay so within a second the ndvi value is also generated and it will come to you see this is the thing okay so this is a very easily it will, you can extract uh, this ndvi value within a second within a second okay so that's the beauty uh, now you have this two layer so i want this two layer value wherever i have collected the ground truth so that should come in a same place so that i can make the color mean co relationships okay so uh, if you just see here uh, we are going to use this tool that is called uh, where is it so i will go to this our uh, analysis tab okay and then toolbox okay so you can go in favorites and uh, extract multi multi value multi value to points okay so uh, here you just see you need to give input uh, features that is a ground data which i'm given now input raster so wherever these two raster means lst and ndvi that two you want so you just simply select uh, your that one like ndvi and then next one you have to select the lst 1999 so that's two this two you need to select that's all okay so now if you click on the run so what will happen this ground data okay so wherever this ground data sets will be there now so with that ground data you will get the lst and your uh, ndvi value in the same place so without going in excel here you just see simply you we are actually getting these two value together okay so you just see here we just getting this two value together okay so uh, that is the beauty of this particular uh, things uh, this is the beauty of this particular uh, thing is how we nicely extracted these two okay so uh, now our main focus is as we as you see that we want to see the relationships uh, between this ndvi and lst and you see we can very nicely uh, show that thing okay so and you you can you need not to go to the excel Ms. earlier times we used to calculate it we have to take the value uh, we zoom it in that pixel particular pixels then we have to see that that particular pixels value you have to note down in the excels and then we have to do it that's this code relationship so it's a very time taking job now you all can do it in a very fast way you just see here if you go here simply go to the chart okay and you can click on this scatter plot okay and here you can simply uh, give your uh, i think uh, this one is your ndvi okay and this one is your uh, lst value okay so you just see here 
okay that relationships you can find in a very nice way okay there is an integrated relationship for all we know there is an integrated relationship always come with the ND by 2 LST so somehow the values are coming nearby okay so that's all uh, from this uh, particular lecture which is mainly uh, trying to show you here how you can use the old Landsat images like ETM plus uh, TM5 if you want to go for the calculations okay so how we'll going to calculate it okay so try to find out the formula okay and using the raster calculator you can go with the formula okay and uh, the same way which I just calculated you and then uh, if you want to uh, see and do the analysis with the NDVI okay and correlations if you want to find so try to use this tool okay so that's all from my side so I hope you like this lecture so if you like this lecture please subscribe my channel and give your comments and uh, this is the one of the request uh, means one of the uh, one of the students from anywhere in the world I've been telling his name but yes he requested me this so uh, I try from my best okay so how to show it how how you can do it okay so uh, if there is any any kind of issue I know I got a many many mails so many mails but all the mails is not possible for me to reply but I will try uh, maximum uh, to reply you and uh, whatever is possible from my side definitely I will show you okay thank you thank you from my side thank you